we get lots of questions about intermittent fasting. So I wanted to show you a case study example of an individual who had been intermittent fasting before coming in to see us. Now this person was doing the 16 and eight version. So she was only eating between the hours of noon and 8 p.m. And she was doing what I've actually noticed a lot of people do, which is where they're like, oh, you know what? I'm not a big breakfast eater, so I'm just gonna cut out breakfast, no big deal. In doing that, what that meant is that she wasn't eating enough calories. So in that noon to eight window, she was only eating about 1500 calories per day, which was not enough to fuel her body. In addition to that, she was exercising six days a week for an hour, and that was usually during the time that she was fasted in the morning. So that had a huge impact on her metabolic rate and her body's breakdown of muscle. Let's take a look. So as you can see here on her resting metabolic rate test, that her metabolism dropped really, really low. It's down at 877 calories, when it should be at 1,438 or even higher than that. This happened because she wasn't fueling her body enough. Her metabolism adapted. Her body is not just gonna keep burning all of these calories, it's going to bring it down because it doesn't wanna consistently be burning more than it's being given. And that's exactly what we see here. What we're also seeing is that her body is breaking down 25% more of her muscle mass than it should be. This means that her body is just chipping away at lean mass and muscle to get those additional calories that it needs in order to function. So this of course is not good. We want to get that metabolism higher. We want to get the body not breaking down too much muscle. And how we're going to do that is to get this person to take in more. So we actually recommended that this person take in 2,300 calories per day, not only to fuel her body's needs at rest, but to restore that metabolism and get it up to that 1,400 or higher and to fuel the workouts that she was doing. Now, this person was really, really adamant about sticking with intermittent fasting. It was not my recommendation. I said, I thought you should go back to having breakfast and eat in a sort of normal window and aim for 2,300 calories, but she really, really wanted to stay with intermittent fasting. So I said, fine, but you have to eat 2,300 calories in that eight hour window. She says, okay. She goes, she comes back for her follow-up visit and in the follow-up visit, she says, you know what? It was actually really hard to eat 2,300 calories in just eight hours, so I ended up eating breakfast. Now, I point that out because that is the case for so many people. They just cut out breakfast and don't eat enough during that time that there's eating window for intermittent fasting. And then when they do try to increase their calories, they can't do it in that small period of time. Ultimately, what's happening here with intermittent fasting is people are just eating way less calories than they did without intermittent fasting. There's actually been lots of research studies to show that there's no difference between weight loss and just a normal calorie deficit and intermittent fasting. In fact, there's been some research studies to show that people actually lost muscle mass, which is what we saw in this case study. So needless to say, it's really important that you listen to your body. This person was noticing some poor energy during her workouts, but just thought, eh, you know, it's early in the morning, whatever. She thought that was a normal part of just being fasted and working out, but really she was severely under fueling her body and her metabolism had dropped really low. Her body was breaking down too much muscle mass. She continued to eat 2,300 calories after coming in to see us. She started not fasting anymore, and she almost immediately noticed better energy, better energy during her workouts and better performance, and all in all, her body was functioning much better for her. Guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Please leave us any questions that you might have in the comment section.